So it's finally here. This is the Garmin Enduro 3 and wow, what a watch it is. If you're an ultra runner, an endurance athlete, or maybe you're in the military and doing something where you need crazy battery life, this watch is the watch for you. And they've made it even better. 320 hours of GPS. This has got solar charging. So it soaks up the energy from the sky if it's a sunny day and it increases that battery life. It's also got offline mapping. See how the weight is 63 grams. Forget those road runners. This has trail running VO2 max. It also has advanced strength and conditioning features. So I'll be able to check that out on here. And before we go any further, who am I? So my name is Kingsley. I've done the spine race regarded as one of the most brutal races in the UK. I've done the arc of attrition, again, one of the most brutal races. And I've done recently the UTMB Snowdonia race. These races have ranged from 100 kilometers all the way up to 268 miles. It's no light stopping point A to point B, 268 miles. So this is the perfect watch for someone like me and for you guys who are really into that ultra marathon sport, maybe into backcountry hiking, or again, the military, where you don't have access to electricity or charging ports very frequently. So I bought this watch with my own money. So these are all my own thoughts and experiences. Hidden underneath my sleeve, I have the Garmin Fenix 8, the Chorus Vertex 2S with the Sinto Vertical. So let's get this open and see how it compares to these ultra endurance watches. Okay, so this is the Garmin Enduro 3, 51 millimeter. This is one of Garmin's biggest watches. I've been recently testing the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. So what we've got here is engineered on the inside for life on the outside. Just a beautiful kind of design on the front, the ultra performance GPS sports watch by Garmin back there. So let's just get this open. So popping it through. Oh my Lord, the box is so beautiful. Opening it up and there she is. That is a good looking watch. Look at that. We've got this protective film here, right? Oh my Lord, look how shiny that is. Enduro 3, look at that, wow. Loading the maps, and I tell you what, already this is a much better experience. <laughs> this is a much better experience than what I had on the Fenix 8. So if you didn't know, on the Fenix 8, I had it glitching out. I could barely use the screen. And the setup experience on that watch, that cost me a thousand pounds. It was really hard to set up. And I would say very frustrating for someone who's just spent so much money. Here, I've spent nearly $250 less. And this setup experience, it works. The screen isn't glitching out. Let's pair it to the phone. So we're just loading up Connect IQ. This is what you'll have to do if you buy any Garmin. And yeah, we can see here that I've got the Garmin Fenix 8 up here. Add a device down here. I can't be asked to sk scan the QR code. And yeah, we're gonna click add, so connect, allow notifications, finish. So here we are, we're logged in and we can select the text size. Now for you guys looking at a bigger watch, you're probably in the demographic with terrible eyesight. So look how big you can have this text. Super small, I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go for like somewhere in the middle, if not just a bit higher up. Selecting your favorite activities, we've got outdoor. So obviously I'm gonna add some running, I'm gonna add some treadmill, I'm gonna add some trail running. I'm gonna add some cycling. I like to cycle indoors and outdoors, but we've got gym, I like strength, I like cardio. God, I really want you to flick through all these was a bit annoying. Uh, team sports, I've been playing lots of football and soccer at the moment. Uh, we've got boat there in the motorsports as well. Golf, horseback, track me, and tempo training, done. And we're in the watch. Look how beautiful this is, man. Again, what you're seeing here is the glare of the watch. We've got a sapphire display here. Let's just turn up the brightness a little bit. And that's the thing, when you've got a watch with so much battery life, you can turn up the brightness and thank you Garmin for bringing back this. So, you know on the Garmin Fenix 8, how you've got low, medium or high battery. On here, you can choose whatever you want to optimize your viewing experience as well as the, the battery life as well. So yeah, we've got roughly 27 days and, and that's a month of battery life when this isn't even fully charged and I've got the brightness on full. We've got heart rate turned on. We've got all of the notifications turned on. Just everything smartwatch is turned on and 27 days battery life, it's not even fully charged. So really impressed with that. Let's have a little look at the watch face so up here we've got the activities and we can see that i'm ready to train and it's collected all this data from garmin connect because again i've been testing the fenix 8 we can hold down this on the watch face and look at that my endurance is going up guys try and catch me up nearly 8,000. Uh, we've got the sunrise and sunset. We can touch that. It was a bit small to touch, but it worked. What I really like about this is you can dive into the map and see yeah, where the sun's going to rise, where it's going to set and orientate the watch so that you can see exactly where you need to set up your tent to get that perfect. The sun rises and plan things like that with this feature. And again, this is a really cool kind of sunset and sunrise graph here. Yeah, you can get all of that kind of stuff. Dusk, dawn, that's all cool. I'm sorry for all you Americans. Look, I do enough on this channel for you guys. I do all my prices in dollars, but I'm gonna be changing the temperature to degrees Celsius very soon. 
But again, yeah, fantastic stuff here on the on the watch. It's already got my location. And if I play, it's going to play an overlay. Whoa, I don't know what's happening there. I think it might be glitching out. They, oh, there we go. We've locked in. Um, so that's actually overlaying right now a weather forecast. How unreal is that? You've never seen anything like this on your watch, have you? I mean, you guys in the military, you're loving your Instinct 2X, but you haven't got like a full weather forecast on your watch, have you, like that? And you can play, you can see the time here. And I can see that, look, if I stay here too much longer, I'm probably going to experience some rainstorm. And speaking of rainstorms, you can go and flick through your, your percentage of rain here and obviously the temperature, the wind gusts, all that stuff. Uh, you've also got like dew point and humidity. If I go back up, UV index and air quality, I do struggle to get that information where I am. If you want dew point, check out the Crushing Iron podcast. They're a fantastic bunch of guys. You've got the visibility um, and cloud coverage. We've not even left the watch face and look how much this watch can already do. Obviously, we've got the battery life here and you've got lots of battery saving mode. So if I turn it on, it's already gone to 67 days. And again, this isn't fully charged. Uh, we've got the time. I'm not sure what happens when you hold that. Nothing. We have the calendar. So if you hold the calendar down, it will take us to the calendar and you can see the suggested workout. So it thinks that I should go for a hundred minute run today. Garmin, are you taking the absolute piss, mate? <laughs> Um, I know I've been really lazy this week. Garmin knows it. We all know it. And we're going to a stag do next week in Nottingham in England. So that's on my calendar. The rain that this watch detected, I've just felt that first drop and my camera is not waterproof. So we're probably going to have to cut this video short. But before we go in, we've got the solar endurance so we can see how much solar energy we've absorbed. Again, increasing that battery life and your lux hours. So guys, how cool was that? So the Garmin Enduro 3 detected that there was a rain cloud above us um, and I saw it and thought well we're probably going to get caught in a storm soon and here we are getting caught in a storm um, it's hard to pick up rain on the video but it's raining right now it's getting windy and yeah my gear isn't waterproof my mic isn't waterproof my camera's not waterproof I'm getting soaked and um, yeah I was just out on that field over there collecting the video for you guys so we're gonna have to pick this up later okay so we've got like a 40 minute weather window what you can see here is a myriad of endurance watches on the right here we've got the garmin instinct 2x solar tactical edition this is the kai e tan color yeah one of the best designed watches i've seen from garmin to be honest it's absolutely fantastic here we've got the beautiful enduro 3 and we'll dive into some of this software in a second but yeah it's looking great next to it we have the fenix 8 again another great endurance watch now this is the smaller i guess uh, ladies or small men's wrist size 43 millimeters it's an endurance watch and if you want more battery you can get this in the solar edition and also in 51 millimeters so it'll be very similar to the size of the enduro over here this is the Coros vertix 2s if you want to see a really in-depth video i've got a really exciting video that i've been working on literally for months coming on the channel soon this is a fantastic watch for people who just like a tool to do what it says on the tin there aren't loads of fancy features and stuff on here it just does what it says and does it really well and it's been a really fun watch watch to use actually for people who like battery life endurance reliability uh, i've been very impressed with the chorus vertex 2s and last of all we have the sunto vertical and i've really fallen in love with this watch here the sunto vertical is really comfortable on the wrist you can see here it's got a nice size to it this sunto vertical really had great battery life if not the best so i'm so excited to see how these two heavy hitters compare i mean look at the size difference here i've enjoyed using the enduro 2 if you want to see that video on my channel all head back okay so let's dive into the widget so we've got the solar intensity we've already had a quick look at the weather and the sunrise and set we've got the health functions here so it's going to measure the body battery and you can see how that changes over time we've also got the sleep score you can see last night it's dragged this information from the fenex 8 you've got your different sleeping cycles there which you can see and yeah kind of broken down into deep light rem and awake and you've got your sleep stages here and one benefit of getting this enduro 3 over the instinct 2x is that you've got like a sleep coach and most importantly uh, napping features so you can nap on this watch it'll tell you yeah, that your sleep history is poor and that you need to improve it and uh, we can go through and again to naps and we've got this bug here on Garmin where it's displaying I've had 333 hours of napping um, not too sure that's about I wish I'm pretty tired and I feel a bit ill this week actually probably from all the editing and then trying to train at the same time um, and it's still showing that it's on the latest software and we're still getting 333 hours so it's not just because I've got the enduro out of the box this watch this Fenix 8 is updated I've been using it for nearly two weeks now and you can see 
see that it's um, yeah it's still showing some crazy napping numbers. Anyway, back onto the enduro, we've got the heart rates. This is where it's going to display your heart rate. And what I like about this is that you can scroll through your heart rate and see what your heart rate was on you know like Saturday at ten o'clock. And a touch screen on this actually, to be honest, is feeling much better than the Fenex Eight. It might just be because this screen's bigger. I've got more rear states. I'm a bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, swiping through here though, you can see my heart rate variability and what that might look like, the graph. So it's on the, all the watches now, but on the core, so if I select on here, you can see that I've got a low heart rate variability. Last night I got 68 milliseconds on the core and I got 68 milliseconds on, on the Garmin Fenix 8, which has been pushed to the Enduro 3, which I've just unboxed. So yeah, the accuracy of all of these watches actually is getting quite close now to the point where they're showing exactly the same heart rate variability. And for a watch to detect that is absolutely insane. You've got your step tracker here, so you can see your steps throughout the week. You can see I did quite a lot of steps on that day. I like that you can click through on your specific days and see what you're doing, you know, on Sunday last week or whatever like that. You can swipe through to your distance as well and see your different distances. Today I've done one mile because I've been lazy. I've been filming for you guys. Yeah, please like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. We've got the pole socks where you can take a reading of your blood oxygen and on the back there, it's going to shoot out some red diodes. It has the brand new Elevate 5 sensor. Yeah, you're paying less money than the Fenex. X8, but you're getting the best heart rate sensor. That means ECG tracking. If you're in the UK or Europe, that means one day you'll get it. Please, Garmin, bring it to us. We've got the training here where you can see the training readiness, and that's going to break down your sleep, your recovery time, your heart rate variability, your acute load, your sleep history, your stress history. You can look how stressed you've been this week, which is quite low, actually. That's good. Training status. In the training status, I've just scrolled down to here. You can see your heat acclimation. So this is really cool for you guys who are in the desert or hot climates who want to see how acclimatized you are to that environment. You've got your VO2 max here, so you can see I've got 55. You can see my lactate threshold is 183. 5K, 1859. 40 minutes for the 10K, one hour 30 for the half marathon, and three hours 16 for the full marathon. This is an endurance watch. It's also 2024. Garmin's been giving us this information for a while now. If we could swipe through and get to 50K, 100k and 100 mile bring it to the enduro 3 because you know this is an endurance watch nobody really cares who's training this hard about their 5k time it's all like a mystical number that doesn't really mean anything but it can be quite motivating to see this number go down and i think 50k runners especially would really appreciate that in the enduro 3 you got your last activity so you can see that two days ago i ran a 6k the time it took me and you can dive into all of the information like the heart rate i can even go into the training effect again that anaerobic and aerobic distribution you can look at the heart rate the running power for that workout and it's just so cool you can dive into all of this information without having to touch your phone at all all of your zones are here and all that good stuff we've also got the hill score where I am currently at and you can read all of this and kind of get informed about it and see that my endurance is good on the hills my strength is good on the hills but maybe I could work on those because at the minute the VO2 max is high I'm just struggling a little bit with the strength and the endurance on the hills uh, we've got the stocks we'll move on and we've got the um, ABC so that's where you've got the awesome compass here I really do like the compass feature on Garmin the animation that they're running it feels like I'm holding an actual like compass in my hand I just wish they kind of translated that and added this functionality to the maps because the orientation when you move the maps on Garmin is a bit slow moving down we've got the altimeter you can scroll through and see your elevation change over the period of a day or however long and if I scroll down we've got the barometer and again you can see the pressure drop and I've only just unboxed the watch there um, but you'll see the pressure drop and why we just experienced a rainstorm. I'm just scrolling through, there are lots of glances. These are called widget glances that you can add. They were just what come with the watch, but you've got climatization, your alternative time zones. You've got your body battery, your calories, your compass, countdowns, which is really good. I think a lot of people who are interested in this watch will like countdowns. I'm just adding them by clicking this button here. Uh, what else have we got? Golf, health snapshot I'm going to add. We've got music. So again, adding your Spotify. You've got your race calendar. If you've got a race coming up, you can add it and it will show you like how long it is to your race and how your training's going respiration sleep coach sleep score yeah it just like the list goes on i definitely like the temperature sensor so we'll add that we'll just quickly show you the temperature sensor then i've just added that to my widgets list and now you can see all of the things that i've added so the temperature sensor here that's what it looks like and again that's when i unbox and switch the watch on but you can scroll through your temperature throughout the last few days and really good if you're camping maybe you care more about your local temperature for example in your tent or you're swimming something crazy like that doing an ice bath or a joe rogan sauna and um, you can calculate all that now and you can see 
believe that the temperature is 64 degrees. And alternative time zones for people who are doing lots of traveling, this is so cool. You can scroll through the map and I'm getting a great vibration. It's like the Apple Watch here. It's like a tactic engine and you can click on the map. So I'll click here on Australia and I can add, for example, Radelaide. I want to add Radelaide to the alternative time zones. And yeah, you can have multiple time zones here that you can add and it's a really cool interface where you're scrolling through this map here, looking through towns, villages and cities and selecting yeah, exactly where you want to be. So anyway, you've seen the watch face, you've seen the widgets. If you scroll up, you get to your notifications. I'm wondering if the AMOLED is maybe too much graphic power for the watch to handle, whereas the memory and pixel, I'm scrolling through this and it's like, it's absolutely no bother. Whereas the Fenix 8, I'm scrolling through and it's all been a bit like a bit jumpy. Anyway, to get onto the sports, click that button. You've got, first of all, your app. So you can quickly look at the map, the clocks, the workout, all of that cool stuff. Or click this button, activities to get to your run, your treadmill. Yeah, these are all the favorited activities that I added earlier. And obviously you can add more and add your skiing, your shooting, your jumping out of helicopters, all of that stuff. We'll click run, you'll get your suggested workout. We're just gonna dismiss that for a second. Wait for it to locate GPS. Took about, what, a second to locate. And I I can press play and all of a sudden I'm in an activity. So yeah, that's how the activity works. I've got this really cool touchscreen lock interface. So you can scroll that down to unlock the touchscreen and now you can swipe through to your music. You can see your activity pages. You've got your map here, which is just loaded. Again, the refresh rate compared to like Cinto is not, um, not as quick, not as quick at all to be fair, but you're getting all of the street names here. You can zoom all the way in. So I can zoom all the way in and see what the street names are. And you can zoom all the way out to see um, yeah, the, the the whole country if you want to. So to load a map to navigate, you hold down this button and you can scroll down to navigation, you can upload courses, you can look at points of interest around me and this is all off of the watch. If I click around me and see where the closest shops are. So we've got Tesco's here and yeah, you can tell the watch what you want to find. We can navigate to back to start. So you've gone off for a hike from your tent or your camping vehicle. You want to get back to your starting location and it will do it for you. You've got round trip courses where you can tell it to create a GPX file for you. What does it go up to? Let's have a look. What is the limit? So yeah, it will do a round trip course of 100 miles and you'll click that to confirm and then it's going to create a 100 mile course for you. I have clicked that button. It's just kind of freaking out. It's like, oh my God, he's actually asked me to do that. You select your direction that you want to go. I want a 100 mile course in the east and it's going to calculate it for you. What I really do like is we're now seeing a progress bar. And last of all, on navigation, you have courses, vertical map video, there it is. It loaded it pretty quickly. You can see the map here. And again, you can see that kind of Z shape, that backward S that I've created and get it started. Uh, do course. And then we're gonna head to the start of the course. Point and zero feet. Point and zero feet. So what you heard there was the audio is now coming through my phone and not the watch. I'm just zooming in so it's a bit more clear to see. So we're currently here on this field. We're heading to the beginning of our course. Let's keep on going. We're in it now. Approaching point. It says on course on the watch. So now we've pretty much begun the course. Let's zoom right in. You can see where it says begin. And we're going to head to the top of this field where we'll get a turn notification and obviously continue on our course. And you can see our track here, the distance we've traveled so far. If you're trying to locate back to your car, your tent, your van, um, I don't know, you wanna know the path you traveled for your mission, it's all kind of there. So this is really cool stuff. What do you think of this camera quality as well, by the way? Four feet turn left. It's just giving me turn notifications. This is so much smoother. On the Fenix 8, none of this was working. So when you hit a waypoint, it's gonna vibrate on the watch. It's gonna play sound. You heard the beeps there and let you know that you've hit your checkpoint or your way marker. You can create it all in the app, as I showed you earlier, send it to your watch and uh, it's gonna vibrate and let you know that you're there. And I think that's super motivating. But hopefully that gave you a little insight as to what it's like to navigate with the Garmin Enduro 3. And if you want a more in-depth video, you'll either have to wait for that or check out my Garmin Fenix 8 navigational video, which I literally go into everything. And they're the exact same navigation navigational experience. If anything, you should watch that and be amazed because much more glitch free on the Enduro 3. So we're going to cancel this run. We're going to discard that. So the last thing I'm going to show you really is the shortcuts. So if you double click this, you'll activate the flashlight. And the Jury has always been known to have a super bright flashlight. I'm not too sure how this compares to the Fenix, if they're the same or not. And yeah, when you turn the flashlight on, you can use the touchscreen as well, change the intensity. So really bright, really low. Um, this is going to burn for your battery quite quickly. This will do that for hours. And you've also got this cool kind of red. Save your night vision, you're out camping. You've got the red one as well. If you hold that button down, you're going to get to your control panel and you've got full customization 
information there, activate your sleep mode. You can quickly save your location or find out what your coordinates are. You've got clocks where you've got your alarms, your timers, your stopwatch, your alternative time zones and your countdown. So this is an absolute beast in terms of timekeeping. Your Garmin Pay, battery life customization. But what I'm trying to show you is the strobe, which isn't here, so I'm gonna have to add it. So hold down this button, add controls. The strobe, whilst we're here, what else have they got? Wi-Fi, I wanna be able to quickly turn Wi-Fi off and on because this hasn't got like a, a stealth mode, if you will. On the strobe, you have some real cool features here. So this is like a beacon that you can put on, or it's called Blink. We've got the Blitz. We have the beacon. This is doing it white right now, but you can have this as red and your pulse. We'll quickly go on to custom. So we're gonna have it on blitz. We're gonna have it on speed really fast and we're gonna have the color on red. So this is the custom mode that I've just designed. And if I turn it on, you'll see what it's like. For some reason, your rear light's broken on your bike. You can turn your watch into your rear light and then get yourself home. And it's super bright, man. Look at that. That's the red light that and the white light is brighter. Right, how do I turn this off? Cool, that is everything. So gang, thank you for watching a video on my Enduro 3. This is the brand new Enduro watch by Garmin. And again, if you want a full in-depth video, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys about, about how this watch acts and performs. It costs a lot of money and not as much as the Fenix 8s. And to be honest, off my first reactions, Approaching this has been a much more smooth experience with the Fenix 8, the amount of bugs I was experiencing on that watch. And you know, I was honest and called that out. In my opinion, that's not acceptable for a watch that's so much money but this is cheaper and i think maybe because it's got like a memory and pixel display that it's like less graphical intensity on the chip i don't know what it is but yeah this is performing much better just straight out the box i'm really excited to like hit the trails and see how good that battery life is as well see if i can get close to unlimited battery life in this or 320 hours of gps which is insane and for that quantified science in-depth review on like the heart rate tracking if you're interested in that kind of stuff yeah just give me like a week to kind of collect that data put it together edit it and yeah it's looking really promising so stay tuned dreams are a step away and remember show compassion show esteem have fun out there peace out